Okay, so before we actually create, um, find what I want to do next, actually, I want to fix just slightly right here on our leaves. And mostly, I want to create, leave it um, natural kind of look when they connect. And sometimes they're not going just straight like this. So to do this, we'll go inside the section. And I'm just going to add maybe um, like three additionals. And we'll just go add some points. I'm just going to take this one and add kind of effect almost to this. Okay, I'll go bring closer. So it's just additional geometry that will bring and look. And you notice I'm going from the top right here. This is how you see. So um, it if it's help you to see how it will going right on the side. So I'm gonna Right here is where how we'll look our plant. Let's click OK. And you can see we have a nice, um, let me pop up resolution higher. And we have a nice plant. Leave it look more natural this way. Kind of like plant growing. Okay. And of course, if you want to change directions it's going we can go right here and of course we can let me just select if you want to go from different side we can just do opposite of this one okay and you know what let's leave it other side leave it flatter still just bring this one up. So in this case, we'll go from other side. So we're all you can see we can change this geometry. Right here, we still have kind of funny things going on. And mostly because we have it blending with parent kind of strong enable. So we can bring up so this blending will work just a little bit better okay. there we go. And you can see we have a nice flatten go so just overall example how you can create um, right here you can see it's smooth a little bit more natural, a little bit more real connection of the leaves, so we have it kind of applied properly. Okay, I'm going to decrease back to preview mode on the resolution. Okay, let's go hide this one. Okay, remember save your work, and let's create um, some kind of maybe an open flowers, just extra details. And we'll go to create geometry. Let's go work on a segment. And just you can call whatever name you preferred. We'll go a little bit different color. And I'm going to connect. Okay, and now when we're connecting, we can start kind of working with the placement them in different place. Um, so let's go first right here where we have it a link let's decrease maybe you no know, set um, eight and plus minus two okay, um also right segment so let me kind of going over stem let's go inside here let's go add some of these effects here 
Okay, and I want to actually them don't be on the bottom because I want them put more on top. So we'll go take our start and move almost like all the way up. And maybe again, just reduce from top top one, just slightly so the top is open. We'll go right here. Um, let's put it coil around. That is about right. Um, I think they look okay for now. I don't want to spend too much on creating them. The next we'll just start going inside and start work on the shape of them. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's go this one and reduce to 0 0.2. So it will be small one, actually. I don't want to big them. And to make kind of interesting shape, we can go and work with a little bit with section before. So it's what we're going to do. And right here, I'm just going to add maybe, you know, kind of segments. And we'll go select. Oops. here let me do it again something was clicking on wrong ones so we'll select one and we'll kind of bring down just shape um connection part this one maybe shorter bring right here. let's bring one more I can create different shapes. Um, this one maybe work kind of well. So we're all look on different type. Um, I think this will look good. Okay. Also, you notice. Let's look at this. We have a shape. Okay, and the shape you see we once which this to user define so we can see them it's look almost like mushrooms right now um, next let's go to take a radius way down so we'll just create teeny tiny you can see kind of like almost parts going right here as well on the reduce link to the top so there will be kind of smaller the higher they're going again this is just extra details we try to add and we can also do maybe put them up a little bit right here so add some effect on a bending yeah, let's do and and on a cup right here end of the cup let's move out so right this point Okay, um, and again, let's go to blend with a parent. And on this one, I think we'll just leave it kind of almost by default. Okay, so here they look good. They're just extra details, kind of like almost seeds maybe come up. We can go inside and modify a little bit on a size. And you know what? Let's go to um, transform area. Okay, and inside the transform, I'm going to add 0 0.4. So they will be different sizes, kind of like bigger, smaller, but uh, maybe 0 0.7. The reason is why I'm doing this one. So you can see some of them teeny tiny, bigger, too big to scale, but 7 and 4, so let's give it 1.1.
and again I want maybe influence a bit more on top than on the bottom so we'll go select here and let's add extra point and bring down so the influence let's see okay we could less influence or more so just yeah, just and see effect okay actually I want to other ways so let's go on top and we'll just pop up here as well okay there you go actually yeah, just to the edge as not as right here wasn't sure to the edge so that looked good Okay, we can go ahead and maybe, you know what, um, spread them a little bit more down to the roots so they kind of pop up here. And again, this is just details as well. And you know what, let's bring them maybe to 14, so a little bit. Okay next let's go to add a couple flowers maybe and you remember it says about top one so we'll add a something to the top as well maybe twisty kind of things going down there okay we'll do this in the next portion of the tutorial